And good morning, YouTube. The old soldier coming back at you on this Friday morning here from Robinson County, North Carolina. T G I F. Um, it's been a long week. It really has. Finals have wore me out. Um, I got them all knocked out. I'm just waiting on two of them to be graded to see how well I did or didn't do. Um, foggy again this morning down here when I got up. Yeah, yeah thick too. It was thicker than it was the other day. And of course the road was full of idiot drivers that don't know how to turn on their headlights uh, when it is foggy outside. So they get hit and go boo-hoo. Oh well, it's on them. Uh, but anywho, anyhow, anyway, gotta get that put on a t-shirt. Well, Fridays is designed, or I've uh, designated to be kind of a fun day Friday or fun fact Friday. Um, so what do we want to talk about? Well, hmm, talk about what we're doing tomorrow. Uh, I got to go feed the Baptist men at church. I'm going to cook breakfast, make homemade biscuits, and some gravy, and some bacon, and some eggs, and some sausage, and a whole bunch of other good heart-healthy food that, you know, Southerners like to eat, and uh, we're going to have a good time. Fellowship, Bible study. Then you got to come home, tend the garden, and then we're going to go do a range video. Um, I think probably going to shoot the 1911, the 38 Smith & Wesson, uh, and pull the carbine back out again, and uh, we're going to try to make that range video a little more detailed than the, the last one, uh, we're going to try to actually focus on me shooting at the targets, not me just shooting, um, plus I got some new ammunition I want to try out of my carbine too, so see how well that handles, because if it shoots well, I'll probably start buying more of it, um, I got that, like I said, I got that from my local gun supply store in town that I use, Money Quick Pawn on Rayford Road, right beside the tractor supply store if you live in the Fed Valeria. Go check them out. Um, but yeah, hard to believe a week from today, I'll walk across the stage in a cap and gown, and I will receive my associate's degree in applied science and electrical systems technology. I'm just uh, still kind of overwhelmed that I finished it. So now I'm just contemplating what the future's going to hold and where I'm going to go with this. Like I said, I want to come back in the fall to get my HVAC diploma. Um, but I've got a phone interview today at 11.30 with a solar power company here in town. If I get that job, I don't know. Just have to wait and see how it goes. But that's the game plan. The plans always change. So anyhow, anywho, anyway, um, so what to do, what to do, what to do. Decisions are always fun, right, folks? But, um, so I, and if I do get this job, I don't know how it's going to change my channel uh, as far as me broadcasting or putting out a video every day, but we're going to try, um, we are going to try. So, that being said, if you got something you want to talk about, you want to hear me talk about, a subject that's near and dear to you, put it in the comments down below. I'll be glad to study the subject and, and do some research for you and, and go from there and bring it up during one of the videos and talk about it. Um, at some point in time, if I get enough subscribers, we might even try, try to do some live videos um, as we work through this whole thing but yeah so it's getting to be springtime or springtime's really in full effect right now um, people are starting to get out and go on vacations and getting ready for graduations and proms um, all nine yards a lot of different things um, Today, me and the crowd I've been in class with most this year and a half, we're going to go and go out to eat for lunch today, kind of one last hoorah, and go from there. Um, like I said, i got to go home and today get started on some more yard work, get our garden, like I said, weeded, and got my corn coming up. Corn has actually sprouted. Um, a couple of my watermelon mounds have sprouted. Uh, I think my squash and zucchini starting to sprout, so... Things are starting to come together. 
Got to go find me a uh, canner. I think that's what they call it. When I was growing up, Mama called it cans, but they always put it in jars. I said, well, Mom, why is it called cannon if you put it in jars? She can never give me an answer. So, if anybody's got that answer, put it in the comments below. You know, I know they call it cannon, but, you know, they always put it in a glass jar. Uh, which I always thought was funny. But the wife and I are going to attempt to learn how to do that this year so we can uh, better put away... Um, what we bring out of the garden this year as opposed to freezing it like we did last year and some of it froze well and some of it not so well um that whole blanching process because you, know, you got to pull it out of the pot at a certain time and then cool it off um to stop the cooking process and then then you can put it in and freeze it and uh, I think I missed the mark on a couple couple items, but you know, we're gonna try again this year. So it's the only thing you can do is keep trying. Um got got to do that just for the simple fact that uh you know if we listen to Casio Cortez the world's gonna end in twelve years, so I gotta have a stockpile for when the world ends. Um yeah. She's a special kind of stupid. But anywho, anyhow, anyway, folks, I'm going to cut this one short today. Um, got to go in here to my project class and watch some of my other classmates finally give their final presentations to see if they're prepared for it. Um, some of them have been procrastinating, so it's going to be interesting to see how it turns out. But uh, other than that, I hope everybody has a great, wonderful, and blessed day. A um, couple few shout outs. Uh, Cheryl Hurst, did you do it yourself. I did like your video yesterday. Some good common sense tips. Folks, go check her video out. It's in my subscription list. Look her up. Subscribe to her. She's got some good videos she's starting to put out uh, on preparing for certain things. You know, um, Check out Free Spirit News. Uh, go over to my friend's channel, Black Cat Outdoors. Um, ask him for some chicken. He was grilling some chicken yesterday on his live feed, and it looked good. So, Black Cat Outdoors, I'm, I'm still waiting on my chicken, brother. It looked good. <laughs> um, and I want to just say thank you to all the folks in the last few weeks that have subscribed to my channel. I'm truly humbled by that, and I really appreciate it. Um, hopefully, I'll continue to give you content to keep you engaged where you keep coming back. Um, and if I'm not giving you that kind of content, let me know in the comments so I can figure out what I need to do for you. Um, and so with that being said, as always, uh, some charities I'd like you to help out with if you can. Uh, one of them being Pin Up for Vets. Make a phenomenal calendar. Um, TunnelsToTowers.org. Provide mortgage-free homes for the families of uh, service members and, and first responders that have died in the line of service. And valid for veterans to provide for the immediate needs of veterans in need until the VA can step in and, and do things with their resources. Uh, vendors, Money Quick Pond, Rayford Road here in the Fedville area. If that's where I go to for all my firearms needs, go check them out, folks, if you live around this area. Um, Roberts Custom Woodworks. He's got an Etsy store site. You can order it. He'll ship it to you. Um, makes phenomenal wood products. Uh, he's got a does a great job with his wood plaques. Got to check him out. And then Unsung Patriot does t-shirts, sweatshirts, hoodies, got some other stuff on his on his Etsy website. And all these links are down below, folks. Go check them out, help them out, give them some support, give them, show them some love. And uh, help me out, get my books, Thoughts of an Old Soldier, and an Old Soldier's Poetry and Prose of Life, Love, and Liberty. Both books are available on Amazon in Kindle and paperback. Um, you know, I'd appreciate it if you helped me out. It would go a long way for me. And... Uh, if you're so inclined to do so. That being said, God bless. Take care until tomorrow. Uh, we shall see y'all later. This is uh, Old Soldier Approved and Old Soldier Out.